Hi, Signature Associates and friends. Welcome to the Signature Edge Podcast, a podcast dedicated to helping you design an uncommon and impactful career in the business of healthcare. Together, we are making a difference for our clients by lowering the rising costs and administrative burdens associated with great care. Engage with us as we spotlight big ideas to discover an uncommon you through leadership, teamwork, and focus on the healthcare industry. Think deeply, commit fully, and take yourself to the next level of performance. Well, welcome back everyone, 2023 and Signature Edge, and we are ready to kick the year off. And what a better way than sitting around speaking with two of the most professional friends I have, Chris Woodhouse. Hi, Chris. Welcome to The Edge. Hi, Mark. Hi, everybody. And Amy Hennings. Amy, welcome. Happy New Year, Mark. Thank you very much. Well, it's great to be back. And I thought it would be really exciting just to just to kind of talk about how do we set that intention and how do we as an organization really respond to this uncommon mission in healthcare? As our listeners know, we're really dedicated to reducing the cost and burdens of healthcare associated with care from an administration perspective. But to get that done, it takes a lot of work. And so I thought this would be a great segue in to how we're getting that done and maybe even highlight some ways that we're doing that. But before we get started, let me ask this hard question. Amy, I'm going to start with you. What is your intention for 2023? Well, Mark, my intention is to be presently hopeful. It sounds complicated, but to me, it's not. I want to um, be very present this year And while being present, I want to bring hope to um, everything I do. And I think hope is a very forward thinking thing, a very forward focused movement, if you will. And that's just something that I is really important to me this year. And I'm really as it's still kind of new to me. So I'm still kind of fleshing it out and writing about it and thinking about how how I'm going to do it and measure it. But that is my intention for this year. Awesome. Well, I I really like that. And Chris, what do you think? What intention have you set for 2023? So I want to become an expert with the chisel. Nice. What I mean, what I mean by that is, when you think about uh, Michelangelo and some of the great sculptors of the past, right? They did this. They worked stone with a piece of metal and a hammer, and they turned it into beautiful works of art, right? And so for me, this year is all about refinement. How do we improve ourselves? How do I improve myself? How do I identify areas in my life that I'm not giving enough attention to or areas where I have knowledge gaps or I want to learn a new skill and and pursue it? Like just take action and go and work in those areas. So that is that is my intention for 2023. Oh, that's awesome. That is inspiring. I absolutely it love is. that you can like picture it, right? right it's not right. abstract. It's a chisel. That's fantastic. Mark, um, what's your intention? Are you going to share yours? Well, thanks, Amy. I'd be happy to. You know, I, I thought long and hard about this year's intention. And for me, I had this image of a desk that sits in the Oval Office. It's called the Resolute Desk. And, and what I admire about that desk is there's a lot of history behind it. It was a gift from Britain to the United States by the Queen. And um, and, and it was a ship that was rescued by, by the U.S. and given back to, to Great Britain. And the Resolute Desk stands for so much. But for me this year, Resolute means how do I stay on mission? And it and amidst a growth and, and all that we have going on, how do I stay calm, clear, steadfast, purposeful, unwavering towards the mission that we're serving in healthcare? So I've really been having this, this resolute image of this desk sitting there and, and asking myself, how do I become more like that so that uh, I can be that center of calm, clear thinking as we begin to roll out and execute on a lot of big ideas. That's great. Really like and, that. and I want to have a chisel. <laughs> I think he's gunning for a new desk. <laughs> exactly. I think he wants, I, I think he wants a mini oval. Right. Exactly. Now that's a good idea. But, but as we really look at this, let's get really practical. And, and Chris, this goes beyond our personal intentions that we set out as an organization, we have a pretty big mission and, you know, improving the health of our clients business and making the lives of those we work with better. We have a lot of ways we get that done. One of those ways is product service component called claims XM that, that you've really been a big part of. 
Can you kind of tie that in and kind of give us an update on how is that working and how is this great mission we're serving being served by the work that you're doing? Yeah, I'd love to. So with Claims XM, I think this is a fulfillment of not only our mission, but also our vision, right? This this purposeful intent for us to fulfill our mission by driving down the costs of, of healthcare, uh, specifically on the administrative side. And Claims XM is a fantastic solution to do that because we incorporate both services and technology wrapped into a complete product that we can take to healthcare organizations and allow them to take advantage of this product to make their administrative costs go down, which is the goal, right? We're solving a major problem in healthcare and, and these administrative costs have, have skyrocketed over the last 20 years and uh, the leadership here at Signature has just been very insightful to say, we've got to fix this. This is a major problem. And Claims XM is one of the ways that uh, we're working to do that. Th Chris, I, th I, I think that's excellent. And when you think about the impacts that this is going to have, can you give us a little, you know, Claims XM, what, what does it mean? And what are we, what change are we really driving for? So when you look at the healthcare industry at the moment, it's kind of going through a crisis. And this crisis is actually growing year after year in that providers really aren't doing what they want to do, right? Doctors become doctors to help people, to help them with their health, to help them improve their lives, to, to cure illnesses and such. But the problem is, is they're sitting around doing paperwork and they're doing documentation and they're doing coding rather than seeing patients. And so they're getting frustrated. They're getting fed up with all of the paperwork they have to go through this, what we call the administrative burden uh, of uh, getting claims paid to, so that they can get paid for the services they offer to patients. And Claims XM simplifies that in a way and, and allows uh, claims to be paid quickly, accurately, and uh, in short order, which helps these doctors to really stay in business because they're, they've, they've come too far out of the healing realm into the business administration realm, and we're trying to help them get out of that. That's great. And, and when I think about that, that it, it claims XM, uh, Amy, when, when it comes to experience, and, and I think that's a big component of what Chris was talking about, is giving the doctors or the physicians a better experience so that they can do that. Can you kind of unpack that a little bit? How important is experience in healthcare? You know, one of the things that I don't know if everyone knows about Claims XM is it's the full name of it is Claims Experience Management, because here's what we want to do with this product. We want to advance our legacy in the marketplace of it creating an experience unlike anything the industry has ever seen. And that goes for anyone who comes in contact with us, whether it's our associates or Claims XM will allow them to be able to be more helpful and get claims paid faster and more efficiently. Or for anyone who, um, from providers to veterans, improving their experience with the VA. And so that's really, I think, one of the coolest pieces when we talk about an uncommon mission and helping lower healthcare administration costs, we also can't forget our legacy, what our legacy is. And I think if we went back to each of our intentions at the beginning, it's all about what we're doing to make sure our legacy is what we want it to be. If I was to guess, I'm going to guess Chris is chiseling because he wants to be remembered for doing all the little things and doing it great. And Mark wants to be resolute so people remember him as someone who is steadfast in doing what was right and being that person and that stable structure in the middle of sometimes chaos. And that's, I think, what is really cool too about Claims XM from a mission standpoint and a legacy standpoint. When we think about that, and, and that is an exciting element to add and, and to Chris, to you and the team's work in bringing this to life, it's been nothing short of amazing to watch it progress uh, from concept to actualization and the impact, the positive impact it's having. What, what does our future look like? When we start to say, okay, we have these intentions, we know what we're building towards, give us a glimpse of what's possible and what do we really aspire for by the end of 2023? Well, it's kind of an open-ended question mark. You say what's possible, right? Because we have this technology side of this that is 
truly limitless. You know, I'm watching the news these days and I'm seeing things like uh, chat GPT or whatever that new AI chat is that's coming out in technology. We're going into a new realm of just data analytics and understanding and AI. I know those are a lot of buzzwords, but they all play a major role in what we do on a daily basis. Anytime there's data exchanged in an electronic format, technology plays a major part. So for us with Claims XM, we're very technology focused. We're very intent on looking to see what new technologies are coming out. How do we take that, put it into play with what we're doing so that we can continue to improve and we can continue to help these uh, medical professionals ease the burdens in their life. And uh, specifically with 2023, you know, we, we've been live with Claims XM uh, over a year now. And the chisel mindset is how do we refine? How do we take what we've done over the last 12, 15 months and make it so much better, right? We, we want to make it so much better because the opportunities exist. And every day we learn new things. Every day there's changes that are happening with policy and with government and with regulations. And how do we make these things flow more smoothly? How do we make uh, providers feel less burden? That's great. And Amy, when you think about the future of experience as it relates to that, uh, what are you seeing there? You know, I think experience is going to become even more important in 2023 because I think um, people are making decisions based on exp the experience that they have. They're comparing experiences that they have. For example, if you go to the hospital, they're, ex they're comparing it to going to a hotel. What's the experience like? They're expecting both. That's why they deliver cookies at three o'clock at some hospitals in Omaha. It's because that's kind of what happens at the Doubletree Hotel, right? They get the cookie. Um, so that's what I think is it's going to become even more important that everything is seamless, effortless, easy, and is really conflict free as, as customers choose what products they are going to and what companies they're going to align with. So from a high level experience perspective, I could go even deeper to say that I've read that in experience this year, it is going to be the year of empathy and being really prescriptive on knowing people's needs and feelings before they even comprehend it and solving that problem for them. So the companies that are gonna do that best are gonna be the most successful. And certainly Signature has a leg up with some of the technology that Chris talked about today. Yeah, you know, and, and I think when it comes to talent and when it comes to, um, you know, what we call it Signature, the execution part, of this that's the heartbeats that that are driving this and putting this together and kind of executing on some of the parts one of the things i think of is a quote that john maxwell had said everyone communicates few connect and this connection is going to be more important than ever and what i'm starting to see emerge from a talent perspective is not just connections it's high quality connects it's hqc and we're actually measuring that in terms of how many HQCs can you have? High quality connections can you have with the people you're leading, with the teams, with the patients? How many of those can you have in a day, in a week, in a month? And so that we get really mindful and present and centered and listen. And I think it goes to that word empathy. And Chris, to your point, as the technology advances, I think it's a higher calling from the people side of it. How do we tie all this together? Great people doing great processes providing a great experience with the best possible technology to ease the work behind it, to make it almost effortless so that we produce better outcomes. Team, when I think about that, I think that it's possible that we can actually reduce the rising costs and burdens of healthcare administration. What do you think? I think we have to. I don't think it's an option because the, the trend that this country is on is... Uh, not sustainable, right? And which for signature is a great opportunity. It allows us to get in there and help fix the problem. But it, there is no choice. This has to be fixed and we're the right people to do it. Couldn't agree with you more, Chris. Well, team, as we, as we continue the conversation and as we look at the season ahead, I, again, thank you for being part of this important conversation. 
Thanks for your work advancing us through our product and service, Claims XM. That claims experience management team is second to none. And Chris, you're a huge, huge part of that. Thank you so much. Amy, thanks for your expertise on experience. And I am looking forward to seeing the results of 2023. But it was so fun to set our intentions. And hopefully, listeners, um, if you're like us, and if you don't have an intention set, a challenge this week will be, what's your intention? For those of you who are part of the Signature family, how do you tie in your intention to what we just talked about? What is the word that will describe your efforts to help us advance in our mission to reduce the costs and burdens of administrative care? And to our friends and partners, Join us as well. This is an all-in effort where we have to lean in and solve big problems together. We might have defined it. We're trying to solve it, but it's going to take a village to get this done. So until we talk again, Amy, Chris, thank you so much for your expertise and leaning in today. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, everyone. Good to see y'all. Signature Performance is the foremost leader in healthcare administration. Your work advancing our mission is transforming healthcare in the U.S. Signature is bringing together the best and brightest in healthcare. Discover opportunities at www.signatureperformance.com slash careers and be inspired to build an uncommon career that matters.